Okay, well you can see that I managed to get back in the same swim again. Uh, that's because it's Bank Holiday Monday, the 29th of May. Just come up to half three in the afternoon now. Everyone's packed up and gone home, you know, but uh, I've got Tuesday off. So uh, yeah, pretty much got the lake to myself. Uh, and that's why I've been able to get back in this swim. So um, yeah, uh, the conditions are similar to when I fished last uh, in terms of the wind, um, you know, strong northeasterly gusting. Um, so it's been a bit of a pain getting my rods out on the spots, but uh, I managed it well. Right hand rod is fishing on, fishing on the same spot as I, I did uh, the other week, um, and the uh, left hand rod I've tried somewhere different because it's too hard with the wind to get it up the side of the uh, that uh, margin there because the uh, the line just carries onto the trees and that. So uh, I've just gone for a little bit further left. Um, uh, the where my uh, right hand rod is, uh, just uh, on the corner of the island, almost um, that same distance. So yeah, I say the other week when I was here last, it wasn't actually. Um, it was a couple of weeks ago um, because uh, the fish have uh, been spawning since, uh, but they've uh, finished now, uh, as far as everyone can tell. So uh, yeah, so I skipped it for that reason, and I went away this weekend. Um, and that's why I've not come down before now, the Monday. So uh, yeah, uh, we've got uh, glorious weather. I'm glad there is a bit of a breeze actually because it'd be too hot otherwise. Um, and I'm off at uh, what, tomorrow lunchtime, mid morning, mid to late morning, uh, through to lunchtime, any, any time around then, depending on how it goes. Don't know if I'm that confident actually, because uh, I think it's slowed up a bit since they've spawned, um, but uh, you never know. Um, and I've not seen anything since uh, I've uh, set up. You know, I've not come in here because I've seen fish. I've just got in here because I can, because it's free and I like this swim. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy the sun now and uh, who knows, we may get lucky. Yes! Yes! That had only been out about an hour. And it's a good fish. Yeah. Cool, it did not give me a bell. I think this is my biggest from here on this couple of months stint. Very pale common. Hey, I've had a 30. 30 pounds, 8 ounces. Oh. If it's a female, it'll be spawned out as well. Oh. Right. Come on in. Got some spawny marks on it. in a minute. This is the cleaner side. Beautiful. Okay. Just 
feet that, shall we? Since you've been so good to grace my rods. Wow, how about that, eh? Nice. Um, didn't think I was going to get a 30 uh, out of here before uh, I went back on the other lake. Very pale fish, wasn't it? Not typical of the fish in here. But, uh, yeah, still a looker. So, uh, yeah, well chuffed. Um, I'll put it back out there, despite the wind. And uh, a couple of spots, three spots actually. Uh, two were on the money, one drifted slightly off. Uh, so yeah, who knows? Uh, the time now is uh, just gone five. Time to sort himself out. That take was just before four. Uh, yeah, about five to four, something like that. I was playing it for a long time, and it's. Uh, Kite down that margin and nearly got in the snags over there, uh, just where the channel runs through into the other lake. Uh, but luckily, I uh, turned it, but it was sat in front of me for ages and uh, just powering off and then coming up on its side. I thought, right, I've got you, and then it wake up again, power off. So, uh, yeah, it's a hell of a battle. Um, and uh, I had that dreaded feeling um, that I was going to lose it because it was almost in the net at one point and I just needed to lift the net up and I, it was just the water resistance and I couldn't lift the net up and it just turned and it swam back out again uh, but it wasn't too long before I had it drifted into me again up on top yeah but uh, I'm just having visions of hook pulls now ever since that close up one uh, few weeks ago, a good few weeks ago now, over the other side. Oh! I think that was, uh, yeah, it was the left hand rod again. I've turned the sensitivity right down as well. Because um, there's a little bit of weed on the line that I can't shake off and it's... Um, giving me, was giving me bleeps. And the wind, there wasn't a gust of wind then. Oh well, we could be in again soon. I hope so. If I am, I'll see you then. It's one of our green friends. <laughs>
Okay, well it's just come up to half six. I was just putting that right hand rod out again after having that tench and uh, left hand rod again. And it's another good fish. Actually, you're not quite as big as I thought. 26 and a half. But uh, very welcome. Come on, mate. Right, go flip. Okay. Again, shall we? Please. I think I may have found my new favourite spot out there. <laughs> Those two fish on the uh, left hand rod. Yeah, I've put a bit more bait out uh, on the uh, left hand rod, but not the right, because I, I put quite a bit of bait in to start with, because it was so windy, I was, spots were going a bit uh, awry. So there's a fair scattering out there. But uh, the cast, the recast after the tench, absolutely nailed it. Um, and I did get a spot out there to start with, right on that spot. It's just on the corner of the bush. So, uh, yeah, I'm not putting any more bait out there, but uh, I, uh, I did put three more spots out on the uh, on the uh, left hand rod. Just wondering what the night's going to bring. I do love this swim. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's hope it's a session as mad as the, uh, the one I had a couple of weeks ago in here. Although I could do without the nine pounders. Yeah. Right, well, uh, I'll catch up with you just before it gets dark. coming up half nine now. Um, the wind's calmed off a little bit but it's still breezy and it's going to stay that way through the night I think. So uh, yeah, um, I've got a nagging feeling nothing's going to happen tonight. It's going to be in the morning but uh, let's see if I'm wrong eh? Another tench. Like a dog in a lead. Yeah. It's woken up now. <laughs>
Yes. Okay, well it had just gone half four when uh, this one slipped over the net. That was the right hand rod with that banker cast. I absolutely nailed last night. It's only a little fella, this one. I thought it was another tench for a minute. It just came straight in and then uh, and he woke up. Very close in. be a flipper, aren't you? Like about 12 pounds, something like that. Uh, a bit bigger, 13 and a half. But, uh, you'll do, mate. As long as you don't flip all over the place. <laughs> all over the place, he says. Morning marks on him as well. Right. Oh. Oh. Right, I'll do this side first. Oh. Oh. I did leave him in the net about 20 minutes to recover and uh, I had myself a quick coffee. Let's go. We won't do the other side. Come on in. Come on, fella. Come on. Finish the rest of my coffee now before I get that out. I'd only been out about five minutes. The uh, right hand rod, ten, yeah, five ten minutes. I was just um, thinking, right, I'll have this coffee and I might stick a couple of spots out on each spot. Uh, I recast the left hand one because uh, I had uh, a tench during the night, well, half two this morning and uh, rechucked it out there but I could see that I was offline, uh, off the line when I uh, when I got up this morning, looked out there, see where the line was pointing, so yeah, I'll rechuck that one. I thought, yeah, I'll just put a couple of spots on each in a minute, I'll just have this coffee. And wallop, up it went. Number four is in the net. Yeah. That uh, one before, <coughs> that was a belt intake. I ran out there, I didn't even, I thought it was going so fast. I uh, thought, right, I haven't got time to fiddle about, put me clogs on, my crocs. So uh, I just run out there with my socks on and then uh, got wet feet and all the damp grass in it. Um, but that didn't do a lot until it came in. Just like that one there, really. They just like uh, come in like a dog on a lead, and then oh, I've been hooked. I better do something about it. Start giving me a fight. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let him recover for uh, five minutes or so whilst I have this, and then uh, we'll get him out and have a look. 
We have another little fella. Just over 13. Coffee number three, the fish number four. I uh, uh, nailed it again with the cast out there. Um, I'm not going to put any bait out. Um, decided. Um, I'll give it an hour or two. If uh, nothing happens, then I might put a, a spot or two over each spot just for the last couple of hours. I mean, it's half six now. So, uh, yeah, I think that's the plan. Um, do you like my new uh, bivy extension? It's a uh, social wrap. This is a trucker tempest brolly. And this is a uh, social cap, whatever. But, uh, you know, you can get. Um, I'm really impressed with it. Um, it, it uh, does uh, extend your bivy quite a lot. I mean, I bought it two reasons really. Um, one was um, I might start bringing one of my dogs down here, and it's uh, it's a bit tight in there with all my gear, uh, you know, uh, normally. So I thought, right, I'll buy this and I can put some of my gear out here, um, and um, plenty of room for the dog bed, etc. Um, and the other reason was just uh, uh, being able to spread out a bit and if I was fishing in you know the face of uh, the wind and it was raining it just uh, gives you another I don't know a metre and a half something like that um, of uh, cover from the, from the rain so it won't, you know be blowing in your, your bivy actually I mean because I've taken the door out um, and these are just flapping these sides, they're not pinned down. You could easily fit two bed chairs in there with some gear behind them and uh, some gear to the to the front, or you know, a couple of chairs. So, uh, yeah, it didn't cost much either. Uh, put it on eBay, um, and uh, yeah, it was uh, only about it cost me 78 quid, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm well impressed. Just had to put uh, three little brackets on the back poles, but uh, I can just flip those in if I want to put me uh, the full over wrap on. So yeah, I effectively got myself a two-man bivy now. So it's quite light. Yeah, so um, yeah, quite impressed. I did say I didn't want any nine powders, didn't I? Uh, earlier in the video. Um, so, uh, but thirteens are okay. Nine powders were okay the other week, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah, I'd like another big one to come along though. In the last four hours or so, four or five hours. Yeah. Right, okay, I'm gonna have the rest of this third coffee and I shall catch up with you a bit later.
Another small common. Oh, a monkey. Ha <laughs> you done me again. Come on. Oh, you're an escape artist. Oh, come on. Oh. 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 Yes. No! <laughs> oh, Time for play's over. Yes. Yeah. Guess what we've got? Another 13 and a half pounder. <laughs> I've already weighed it and that. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. And I've treated uh, the spawn marks on it. So, uh, yeah, let's get it back. I tell you, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't warm out there in that wind. Uh, it's just starting to warm up now. It's half eight. Uh, I'll just put the uh, right hand one back out again and another couple of spots. Yeah. Three thirteen pounders. Uh, better than nines, though, isn't it? Better than nines. Uh, I could do with a. If I'm going to have another take. I would really like another decent fish uh, before I go. But uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good session all in. Better than the one a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, I do love this swim. I'm have this cup of tea and then. Um, Because my uh, stuff's drying out now. Um, there was condensation last night, even in the, you know, the wind. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have this, let this stuff dry out a little bit more. And then, uh, yeah, start pack away. I think we might be lucky and get another take in the next, what, two, two and a half hours. Hmm. Let's hope so, eh? Right, I shall catch you later. It's another little one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's just come up quarter past nine. Uh, they're getting smaller. This one's the smallest of the bunch. <laughs> God, another one that's been spawning like mad. I reckon we're back to the nine pounders. Quite that small, ten and a half. At least he's a double, eh? Right. Oh, 
gonna have to show you show you the spawning marks on this. This is his, not his best side. But, uh, see what they do to themselves. Yeah. Oh, come on, mate. That one's always the worst, don't they? <laughs> come on. Beating himself up, isn't he? Gonna treat that. Oh. Dearie me. You were going for it, weren't you? He's got a few of the other sides, so do that as well. Maybe a bit as a fiddle. Right, back you go. The okay, cable it's coming up quarter to ten now after I put it back out there. Uh, took a few casts as they all have been doing because uh, of the wind. Uh, but uh, that'll do where it is now for the rest of the session, so I'll have another take. Um, yeah, I'm going to start uh, packing up now. Uh, all my gears dried out all the condensation, weird condensation in this wind. Uh, it's all gone, and uh, yeah, and the uh, mat and everything is <laughs> dries out super quick in this wind with the sun on it so yeah Well, there we are, another eventful session. Uh, well chuffed to get a 30, you know, uh, in the relatively short space of time that I've been on here. Um, and which has only got another couple of weeks to go, another couple of nights. Uh, one probably at the end of this week, and then one the following week, and then the week after that, we're, uh, we're back onto the other lake for the opening on the uh, 16th of June. So uh, yeah, um, if you like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Um, Subscribe if you haven't, uh, share the video with your friends please, and uh, keep the comments coming. And if you're out there, I hope you're having a few. I'll see you next time. <laughs>